Yeah, how's it going everyone? My name is Earl Meister and in today's Meister deck profiles, as promised, here's the sister video from yesterday's video. Video, video. Lemon Lime Aggro. Amber Emerald Aggro used to be the number one aggro deck in set one. It kind of fell off after players discovered Amber's Steel Song. Come set two, even more steel decks came to life and it got left out in the dark. Though a mid-grow version of it found some success through Green Fossa, the full aggro version was nowhere to be found. For set 3, the deck got some upgrades that made it playable again. But is it good enough to join the meta? Or is it just playable? Let's go find out! Alright, let's start with the aggro cards in the deck. Lilo, Cursed Merfolk, Piglet, Wendy Darling, Flynn Rider, Balu, Lucky, and Ray are your aggro characters that can get you to 20 lore as fast as you can. The Kidas, Simba, and Nani, on the other hand, are your cards that can protect your aggro characters in the board if needed be. Doc is also a great card for this deck. But if the opponent has a threat on the board, you can skip questing at turn 3 to play him, then at turn 4, you can use this ability while questing to play the 5 cost Kida or Nani to make sure your small but fast aggro characters can see the light of day the next following turn. Bear Necessities, like what I said on my previous videos, is a card that saves aggro decks from auto losing against steel decks. We now have a chance against Grab Your Swords. Lucky and Rapunzel are your draw cards, and it's essential to have four of each in the deck. And good news! The price for Rapunzel is much lower now compared to set 1. So be sure to have four of them. But Nani, being a big bodyguard that can quest for 2 lore, Rapunzel is a great follow-up play at turn 6 if the game is still going. So you can reload your hand for more cards to play. Lucky is also a great draw card that you can play at turn 4 and draw at turn 5. With Kida getting played on turn 5, Lucky is pretty much safe after it draws or after it quests and buffs your characters for more lore. Now, let's talk about mulligans before we talk about turn per turn play. Curse Merfolk slash Lilo, Piglet, Simba, Doc, Rapunzel, the 5 cost Skeeta, and Lucky would be the perfect hand. If you can't draw them, since this is an aggro deck and not a hyper aggro, make sure whatever you keep has to turn 1 to turn 5 play. For the turn per turn play, it's all about decision making based on what the opponent is playing and what the opponent has on board. For example, Curse Merfolk is the best play in turn 1. Now comes turn 2, you can play another aggro card like Piglet or protect Curse Merfolk with Simba. On turn 3, Doc is the most ideal play over Balu. Doc can help you seal the game in turn 4 if you can quest with it and bring in Kida or Nani so you can protect your board. Nani and Kida on turn 5 is the most ideal play if your board survives till turn 5. If they don't make it till turn 5, Ray is a great card to play to help you finish the game since he is evasive and can quest for 3. Let's go back to turn 4 really quick. If you didn't have Doc to ramp you up with the Kida and Nani, you can play Lucky instead. Lucky will then buff everything in the board to gain more lore or he can be used as a draw card which is fine as well. Unlike Hyper Aggro, Aggro decks have a bit more crucial turn per turn decision making, especially if there is a choice on what card to play that turn. But once you play this deck a lot and know what your opponent is playing, decision making will become easier over time. Overall, the deck is much better compared to its version in set 3. Feel free to refine the deck even more to make it better. Ursula and Kit Cloud Kicker are cards that you should consider putting in the deck if need be. If you happen to learn something or enjoy the video, don't forget to SMASH that like, subscribe, and bell button to get notified for our next videos. 
comment down below as well your questions or your thoughts or just leave an emoji because it helps. Other than that, enjoy the new version of Lemon Lime Aggro and don't forget that it's an aggro player faces the place. Well, in this case, it's your face. Your sour face. Peace.